What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Perseverance Adherence. In the last episode, Sven just gave his life. Spoilers! Aw, oh, shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, Sven died in an epic explosion. And, um, we are quickly running out of people here. So it's just, um, excuse me. It's just us, yeah, Nola, Svoli, and I. So, let's see what other hijinks we're gonna get into here. We still have our poster, which is great. Which is awesome. Who's this? It's a fellow cat! Blimey, what the fuck even happened? I feel like half my depressingly short lifespan has escaped me. An accident has culted a thing which probably brainwashed you. Oh, so I'm free now? Awesome! Wow, what the fuck did the town do to itself? Commit thunderstorm? I'm not the best person to ask. Go in this hole here, I see that, yeah. How many items do we have? We have the cordial. What does this do again? Enjoy the speed, okay. It's a speed boost. And... Right, this slows down time or something, or stops time. Let's keep that equipped. Okay, so we have like three ways to go here. Is this a sheep? Dude, a media corporation with no conscience, it couldn't get any worse. Nonsense, what if there were two mass media outlets with no conscience? Wait, what if we are all media outlets without a conscience? I'll go rummage through the garbage and make you a tinfoil hat just for that. Actually, I won't because that'd be an insanely frivolous waste of time, but it's still, it's the tho that counts. You're funny. Remind me to get you a drink on the house this weekend. Okay, so what's with the animals in this world? Why can they talk? Like, is this just some alternate universe, or is there actually a reason that they can talk like this? Is there any animal that can't talk? Cannot? We should go see my grandfather explode first. I want him to see me on TV fighting the power. And also, it's been a while. Yeah, second priorities. I gotcha. <clears throat> so there's no arrow pointing this way, so I guess we can explore it. Can't. I'm sorry. For some reason I have a hard time saying can't. Oh, we totally missed this guy. It's a dog! They lied to us, twisted us, and gave nothing in return. The Naxxon's true color is as black as the hearts they possess. I... I need to be alone. Do you like poetry? I like poetry. I think we should do some poetry sometime. An entirely nonsensical response to my sulking? I'm saved. I can't actually tell if that was snark or serious. Ugh. Okay. Let's go left or down. We'll go left. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about this lag, guys. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's one thing I do know is that there are quite a few items here. Man, this, ugh. They will pay. Oh, how they will pay. Those next night dogs brainwashed us, sat us in a routine, gave us shit jobs. Just stick around and watch the big off-screen TV for a while. It'll be great! Rumors from a complete stranger with rumors of bad luck attached? I'm down. Pray for unwittingly perceived sarcasm. Isn't life a joy? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what though, this lag is... Uh... Should've got some playtesters, although I'm not sure if you've done that already. Even a chicken?! Fucking bum arse porn mart doesn't even have smut for sale. It's one fucking letter off porn mart. Why can't everyone just basically cater to me? Why is this happening? Why is this conversation taking place? You'll understand when you're older and super perverted. Go post about it on your live journal, creep. You know, I got the impression already that Nola was, you know, 
she was like, I don't know, like a late teenager or something because of the, some of the things she's been saying. But I guess not. Then why is she, why did she do dialogue like that? I don't understand. I'm not gonna think about it too much. It just disturbs me. So yeah, I know we can go further to that left area, but I want to check this area out. Bloody Nax and I order. As if brainwashing us and putting us in shit employment wasn't bad enough, they have the unsinkably low guile to call my hat dumb. You can take my freedom, you can give me a shit job that doesn't earn me anything, you can smog up my home city with enough wretched cloud cover to make the sun invisible, but by golly if they think they can get away with insulting my hat, they're in for one hell of a stern lecture. Speaking as the possibly closest thing you have to a friend before your amazing hat, I must say, that hat is quite awesome, and fuck what they say. Rumor has it there's gotta be a, there's gonna be a big event on the TV over at Market Square in about half an hour. You should definitely go watch it. I'll heavily consider it. Thanks, Redo. Why are you so red anyway? It's a long story that I could probably summarize better by showing you exactly why. Isn't that stuff illegal? Isn't everything slightly good under the band, Registrar? You make a good point. Yeah, we're... We're kids. Drinking... I think something with a little alcohol in it? <laughs> ah, the messages this game is trying to portray. <clears throat> hey, I'm sorry to burden you with this, but do you know of any revolution that's being planned? I want to do... things. Perchance, I heard a rumor that there would be something interesting indeed on the Market Square TV. Awesome. I'm mad because Naxon's order is a huge crock of shit, and I actually supported it for the .03 seconds it mattered. So I want to make them mad also. I'll check that TV thing out later, even if it's barren of promise. I can still draw some inspiration from it. Okay, I guess there's nothing else down here. Great. Hold on. Oh, that's interesting. Can't cross those specific tiles. Let's go to this laggy ass area again. Actually, what's over here? Massive sale. Oh, hey, there's another. Uh, there's another poster, but we already have one. So would I waste it by using it? Damn it. <laughs> oh man. That sucks. Got another cordial, though we don't we don't really need it. This guy doesn't look like a monkey. That that little button nose on his face, he kind of looks like a rat, or a mouse, actually. That's just my opinion, though. You know, I've had no customers since I got my brain back. Sans a very unhappy... Okay, what exactly does Sans mean? I feel like this has been explained before. Sans a very unhappy chicken who inquired about why Pormar had no... Well, I'll spare us that detail. What I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure I don't keep any cash I make here, so if you want something honestly, just take it. Hell, you'd be doing me a service. Especially if you take that god-awful paradox dress off my hands. I can't figure it out. At night it's black and blue, but in the day it's white and gold, and it's the tardiest rag I've ever had the displeasure to ogle. All those Galaxios are seriously the saddest fici fictitious marketing gimmick I've seen, yet take all of those you want. Sweet, freeloader privilege get. Speaking of shitty achievement references, if you can clear out those insultingly pointless Game of the Year awards for Mena Menagerie and Intelligence over there, I'd really appreciate it. And speaking of tumblers, can you take those god-awful overkeen ones? I want to vomit every time I see that. How about you give me these guns, though? Boom! Oh, shit. Give me these guns! So, of course, we can't actually take anything. Wait, what's... Oh, it's just a... Uh... 
Ooh, I knew something was gonna happen there. We already have a temporal apple, though. What a waste! All right, let's go ahead and talk to this explode guy. Could it be? Come closer, if you wouldn't mind. My eyes aren't the best these days. Does he not have a face set? He seems like an important character, so... Sorry, Pops, it's me. There is a god after all, isn't there? After the news of Sped's passing, I feared the worst. It's great to see you're still in action. And your mother, too. My goodness, you've grown. When, when you were last here, you were the size of my hat. Is Sven... Afraid so. We've lost much in this cause. I'm so sorry, madam. He was a good kid. Surprisingly gentle and calm for one of your... Trope. Trope? Is that how you... I hate not being able to pronounce stuff right. You must be devastated to have lost Sped. Yes, he was dear to me. Me as well. If it weren't for him, I'd still be a penniless rube with a bad drinking problem. He gave me cause to better myself. While we're on the sentimental avenue, do you know how? Do you know much about my grandparents? Like my gener genetic ones? Holy shit! I can't read today. Not a whole lot. Their indenture with me was brief, but it looked like they had the weight of the world in their shoulders. And shortly after that, they left. I saw they certainly earned the right to that appearance. Let me, um, <clears throat> let me have a drink here. Okay, we're good. They said it was best you or I never catch up with them, so I assume whatever trouble they were in, it was possibly even bigger than yours. Anywho, you look eager to get some payback. Have you anything planned? Oh yes, definitely. I have quite some big plans indeed. Oh! Now you got me curious. What are these meaty plans, you silly tabby? Come on! The London Tower is getting a full-blown renovation, if you catch my drift. Haha, <laughs> now I've some context into what size bomb you are after. Well, as long as it isn't capable of flattening the whole city, anything be great. No promises. Ha! Huh, this should suit ya. Oh, six industrial infernos. Flashy. I, uh, I don't have any ribbons, though. Or if I do, it's two Nola took from a basket. Fine by me. Who even has ribbons these days? A boom of an industrial sort is its own reward. Oh, if you walk outside in about half an hour, you'll see something truly awesome on the live screen. I'll be sure to do that. Good luck, Peppy. You take care of your mum, alright? You got it, Pops. Is that white chalk next to me? So, uh, yeah. These these characters are... I don't know. It's kind of strange. I understand everyone's fed up with the government and all that shit. But... I don't know. Wait, we missed something. We missed that lollipop up there. Perhaps there's a side door. Well, I don't... I don't think there is! Maybe to the right of this place? Nope. Alright, I have an idea. Yes! So you got a sucker. Hey, where are the bombs? Hey, we don't have the bombs! Uh, why am I getting hurt? What's hurting me? <laughs> well, I didn't actually get hurt, but you, you guys saw that. Let's go back to this. So what does a sucker do? Tasty tree and a powerful boon. Spiral structure concerned blah, 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 blah. grants immunity to all incoming forms of damage, but be warned as nothing good lasts forever. Okay, that'll be useful. So let's put these bombs to good use. 
somehow. Hold on, I did it. I need to stretch. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this must be one of those important buildings for the government. Label and reference number, please. I have a print on. Who are you here to see? I'm here to see you in pieces. Is that first name Plex Pix Pixes? Last name Yuin What? <laughs> I know what he's saying. That was a little too comical. No such thing. This. Nothing. Okay, back the fuck up. So let me get this straight. You fight for freedom, for a democracy, for love, for your father's legacy, and for a better tomorrow. What can I say? I see a disappointing lack of dynamite in there. Oh, this is a cutscene. Good day, London. I'm sure many of you are confused by your current conditions, or are noticeably angry with the next night order. I share in your disdain and somewhat confusion, and for you, I have a fun activity to make them hurt. But first, allow me to explain the significance of the P. P is for perseverance. For those who are proactive, the truth of their existence, the power behind every powerful movement. It stands for not only the people and their rights to object, but in the persistence we must put forward to preach the proclamations we pursue. Some of you may know what the next night has done, or may not. If not, all you need to do is look. The sky is black, small, the air polluted with cold based terms. Can you seriously look around your estate and not see that there is something profoundly wrong with this point in our country's history? Don't you think? A seemingly endless silence permeated by the echo of the morally bankrupt. A distrustful wave of insurrection that has brought our country some of the worst governance in the world. And if that wasn't enough, the vast majority of you have been brainwashed into partaking in shitty jobs and monotonous tasks with no payment. So sure the monarchy wasn't the best leading body. But they were nothing like this. But for all of you, you deserve more. The archaic principles of a monarchy are as dated as the fashion sense of the next night order exhibits. Where we stand on the brink of an eruption into a new world, it seems only decent that we become the leaders of our own destiny. A democracy from an autocracy. What say? If you want that, if you would seek to bring a fairer, just a future, a better tomorrow, or if you would just love a chance to spark the next night order, then be all that which the order is not. Chaos! Together, as a fan of chaotic knives, we can disrupt the stranglehold this country has on us. Hide your face. There will soon be a means to do so that bears the iconic emblem of perseverance. Once the real is yours, I offer you to stand at my side, at the base of the London Tower, one week from today. And united, we can give them some visions angular eyes sighted that will never, ever be righted. Okay. <laughs> if there was any more reason to be annoyed by Pep, <laughs> he has the voice of an adolescent. <laughs> I mean, I know these are child characters and everything, well, most of them, but. Oh my god, the influence of V for Vendetta is so obvious in that. I should have detected it before, actually. There were some clear influences in previous parts, but that, that right there was 
That made it incredibly obvious. <laughs> In fact, it's too much like it. And that movie is... I mean... I can't think of... I can't think of hardly any comic relief in that movie. That movie was kind of serious. And this game, trying to parade off of that movie's style, it's so weird. Because this game, it's not serious at all. I mean, the designs of the characters and all that, it's just... What? <laughs> I'm so confused with as to what design choices this game is... It's just a personal pet peeve of mine when the tone is inconsistent. It's just really confusing when, you know, the design is inconsistent. But... Yeah, that just happened. Uh, we went on TV, we pulled off a V, and I guess we're gonna see what happens next. <laughs> that was amazing! You share in your father's charismatic ways a lot. You mentioned a, vi a veal. How are you going to get those out to everyone? Through the hands of the enemy. I'd say they'll arrive soon. Until then, we lay low. I can just imagine the look on Naxon's face when he has an emblematic object of defiance delivered to him by his own servants. Yeah, that's another thing. I was surprised at how easy it was to do that. To get on TV. So, yeah. No real elaborate plans there. Much as that be a sight I'd love to see, all we can do is imagine. I sent them all off about four days ago. They should arrive here in three if the track re record of British Rail is anything to go by. So when that time comes is when you'll be using those bombs then. That's the plan. Once we defeat the High Lord, I'm going to send his edifice into the dust with him. Haha, <laughs> I'll be sure to watch that from a safe distance. Three days later. Oh, here's the another cut now. We go full force with Operation Overfree. <sighs> Are you sure? You look down. Oh, I'm fine. You borrowed too much. I wish I could pull your lights, but you are you. That's not convincing voice acting for Nola. <laughs> oh, this is familiar as well. Three failures more, sexist. And I'm going to put you down on new tech toilets. How am I supposed to spread this insurrection if my attempts keep being thwarted by pathetic mortals? Spoiler, are you sure they are mortal? Of course they are! And if I don't have their heads by sunrise, you are gone! That's another thing, some of the voices are pretty quiet. Holy shit, that is a small ass bus. <laughs> Sexist Boofudine? Yeah. What the? Bloody hell. How many of these went out? 28,000 counting. 88,000 at least. Christ. <laughs> Anyone know one of those masks? I'll to be detained! Well, Mommy, give me that fucking money, you chunt! We want to attack here. Oh my the god. This is exactly what we want. What? Down with the tyrants! If this isn't resolved by tomorrow, you may as well leave the country and never come back! The problem is, he's been fighting this longer than what we've been fighting him ourselves. And he's had much fewer resources than we do, making him exceptionally more difficult to defeat. He's used this not only to train himself for fighting us. What is this, a Kickstarter trailer? Well, and that's why I went to Hartford last night. That zone three quarantine. I had to see it. There wasn't much left. But when I was there, it was odd. I suddenly realized 
But all of us were playing the writing to his invisible plans. I felt like I could see everything that had happened. Everything which was destined to happen. It was like the perfect symbolistic view all laid out in front of me. And I realized we were all a part of it. And yet trapped too within it. And so the bells may yet toll for the end of that era. Are you saying you know what'll happen? No, it's only a feeling. Uh, oh my god. But I could take an educated guess. With so many new followers made strong by being those left to stand against us, it's only a matter of time before Naxon does something stupid. This guy does not sound enthusiastic at all. But that action now be consequences of a brutal song. Oh, here's another V scene. Which means he likely do the only thing he knows he can do. Well, he needs Keep showing the same maps. <laughs> you can guess what's next. What am I watching? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we hardly did anything that time in the- Oh! Oh my god, I'm so confused. That was horrible voice acting. I just could not get engaged in that. <laughs> With that horrible voice acting, I just could not. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that was a spectacle. That was seriously a spectacle. <laughs> in fact, I'm actually gonna stop right now. <laughs> This is a good place to stop for today, guys. After that splendorous cutscene, yeah, that's a good end point, I think. <sighs> so, thank you for watching this incredibly entertaining episode. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. Um, I'll see you next time. I've gotta get my composure back. See you later. <laughs>